I want to begin today's snapshot for the people of Dr. Martin Luther Church by telling you uh, Bobby Deerbeck is still in the hospital at Oconomowoc Hospital. They hope that she can be discharged fairly soon so that she can begin chemotherapy, which can only be done as an outpatient at Oconomowoc Cancer Clinic. I don't understand that reasoning, but that's the rule. And she has some other issues to get settled before she can be discharged. I don't know if she'll eventually go to another hospital for a second opinion or not. I, that has been discussed. I'm really grateful that I could visit her yesterday. First time I've been able to be in a Conewalk hospital since COVID. And I had a wonderful opportunity to talk with Bobby and Tom. And I encourage you to keep them in your prayers. And her daughters are posting a lot on Caring Bridge. If you'd care to go to that site and put in her name and follow her condition. I also want to let you know that Claire Sedlachik is going to be uh, ordained again, I want to tell you, on May 22nd, the uh, Saturday night service at five o'clock. Bishop Paul Erickson from the Greater Milwaukee Synod will be there to do both the ordination and the installation. It's really a rare privilege for a congregation to be able to make such a celebration, especially with a pastor who is going to be serving them. And Claire Sedlachik will be joining us as an official capacity on July 1st, but she will be with us in June as well uh, a couple of times. It's normal for a pastor to take a month off between calls, and she is serving at a couple of churches as a bridge pastor and will take off of, uh, most of the month of June, but will be with us uh, June 13, 14, that weekend, whatever those Saturday, Sunday dates are, she's preaching and leading worship. And she has a uh, vacation that has been long scheduled that she'll be taking. And she'll be back by the, at the end of the month and will be preaching, or excuse me, presiding or participating in the service on the last Sunday in June. And you should know that our pastor members, our wonderful uh, Larry Westfield and Gary Litke will be filling in as supply pastors in the month of June when Claire Sedlachik is not preaching or leading worship. Well, today, May 10th, is the anniversary of uh, some important things re regarding discovery. The age of discovery was the uh, period of the 1400s to the 1700s. And important in those dates, of course, were the discovery of America and other things in the new world by Europeans. They weren't the first to inhabit these areas. Natives had been there long before the Americans, excuse me, the Europeans. But on this date in 1497, five years after Columbus discovered America, Amerigo Vespucci embarked on his voyage to the New World. And of course, our country was named after Amerigo Vespucci. Also on this very date, May 10th, six years later, Columbus discovered the Cayman Islands. What an explorer he was. And on this date, May 10th, uh, Jacques Cartier uh, arrived in Newfoundland. So there were a lot of discoveries going on this day. And also related to exploration, on this date, May 10th, the golden spike uh, was put in the ground linking the Eastern Railroad, the Union Pacific, with the Western Railroad, the Central Pacific, and they met up in Promontory Summit, Utah, with the golden spike being used to hammer in that last tie and rail. And it uh, linked America, as you know, 1,912 miles from Council Bluff, Iowa to Oakland, California, and it allowed for increased settlement of the West. And the closing of the American frontier is dated to 1890 when the census found that there were no tracts of unsettled land. But in 1869, you could say that the closing of the American frontier really started in that the settlements were increased throughout the country. Europeans, even Asians and Americans throughout the East moved West. Go West, young man, Horace Greeley said, and people did. I hope in retirement that I'll be able to explore more of the Western part of our, our country. I've been to over half the national parks and I wanna go see a lot more that are out West as well as other ones. So let's conclude with this hymn appropriate to the discoveries that went on on this date. For the beauty of the earth, for the beauty of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Christ our Lord, to you we raise, 
this our sacrifice of praise. God be with you today.